In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the driver's side front ABS wire on your Ford 500 located right behind your front wheel. The process for this is the same as the passenger side. Now, if you have a hubcap, go ahead and give that a gentle tug outward, pop that off and set it aside. Using your 19 millimeter socket, loosen and remove the five lug nuts. Grab your wheel, pull it off, and set it aside. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, loosen and remove the three screws on the lip of the front bumper. Using your Phillips head screwdriver and a trim tool, we're going to remove a series of these plastic retainers here. Right up above here, there are two buttons to pop out. Just use your trim tool and work those out. Normally your fender liner would have another button right here. Ours is missing on our particular vehicle. So at this point, grab that fender liner and slowly peel that out. Go ahead and set that aside. Locate the end of your ABS connector right here. There's a little tab right here. You wanna push in on that and disconnect this unit. Now what I like to do is push it on this and use the little pick and go up in the top here and just gently pry that down. That'll help break that free. Use your trim tool to go ahead and get behind the little plastic buttons here and pop these off and follow them around Work the rubber retainers out of the tabs. And pull the harness out. On the back side of the knuckle here, you're gonna locate the eight millimeter bolt holding the ABS sensor. Okay, remove that bolt and pull that sensor out. And go ahead and set that sensor aside. 
take the new sensor, line that up and insert that. Install the bolt. And go ahead and snug that down. Once you feel that bolt bottom out, just a little bit more. It doesn't have to be super tight. You just want it to really be snug in there. You can take that harness. You can run that wire up and start reinstalling the little rubber bushings into the tabs. You come around to the other side, install the plastic tabs. Just press those into the holes in the chassis. And then once you come over here, just line up that connector. Slide that into place. Push it up and in, and you feel that little clip lock into place. Just give that a little tug, make sure it's locked in. Once that's locked in, you're all set. Get the liner up into position. And bring the back around here. Go ahead and install your two lower push pins here. Insert one of the bases there, and we can install the center. We're going to repeat this process for the rest of the plastic button inserts. Now these metal tabs right here are used to hold your screws, so you want to swap those over onto your new fender liner. Now before you tighten these down all the way, it's best if you can get all three of them started. Once you have all three of these screws in, go ahead and snug them all down. Go ahead and line up the wheel with the lug nuts. Install all of the lug nuts by hand first or at least get them started a few threads. Once these are all started, we'll go ahead and snug them down. Using your torque wrench, go ahead and torque the lug nuts down to 95 foot-pounds. Installing the hubcap here, you want to go ahead and make sure that the little notch lines up with the valve stem. And you're all set. When only the best will do, demand TRQ.
the only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.